Well, a little over 70 years ago, the state of Nevada started testing nuclear bombs. The test ran from 1951 into the 60s, and while the U.S. never did drop any more nuclear bombs on foreign soil, the testing had deadly consequences here at home. They're called downwinders. People living in Nevada, Utah, and Arizona who were exposed to radiation from the explosions. Many got federal funding after suffering from cancers tied to the radiation. But as David Caltabiano tells us, the people of Kingman, Arizona are still fighting for recognition. He knew just what to do. He's got <laughs> Our country and all its people could be in danger of nuclear attack. Sometimes it was just gray clouds, just clouds, dust clouds. Sometimes it's multicolored. One. A series of civil defense tests were made to discover the effects of atomic heat on American homes. My oldest sister, Judy, she had brain cancer and she died at the young age of 26. Well, it was common knowledge that a lot of people were getting sick. It was a different time when the end of a hot war ushered in a more dangerous era. So the splitting of the nucleus of the atom. A period of time when the unthinkable was the push of a button away. People losing part of their flesh besides being burnt. The above ground nuclear testing to fight back was once a celebration. Moment in history that we were being able to see this wonderful thing that was happening. And now, that moment in history has turned into a nightmare of history for many, many people. But my brother's wife contracted uh, cancer and died six years ago. Her sister, her brother, her mother, and father all died of cancer. And they were all here from the 50s. For so many people, there is still a war, this time for justice. That the government should be held responsible and should recognize that, you know, a mistake was made to do the right thing if the atomic bomb explodes. In this small town, history is just a memory away, and the reminders are at every turn. Definitely good memories. You know, we had um, one grammar school, one junior high, one high school. I graduated with a huge class of 92, and we thought that was quite large. That was just the way it was. It was. Maybe you didn't like that guy, but you went out and helped him anyway. There was no division. We were just one town of Kingman. Decades later, those still alive are united in purpose, bonded together by the controlled destruction in Clark County, Nevada. Eddie Dean Patillo and Daniel Stevens remember the field trips. There wasn't any uh animosity about it at all. Former rancher Dan Bishop watched mushroom clouds in Nevada as the military tested nuclear bombs 65 miles away from his Arizona home. It was pretty, it was interesting, interesting. I didn't realize the magnitude of what was going on. Nobody did in Kingman and you know, everybody was just, wow, it's happening in Nevada. We didn't pay any attention to it other than watched it. The gorges of northern Arizona. At the time, most people were unaware radiation could spread by wind from the nuclear testing and the deadly side effects even miles away from the blast. In the radium treatment of cancer. Unfortunately, uh, developed cancer as, as well as a couple sisters. I had an aunt that passed away from cancer. Um, I've had many friends. I've had a cousin that passed away. Same thing. I had cancer at one time. What kind of cancers do you have? I had prostate and bladder cancer and a couple of cousins passed away. It affected a lot of our family. You've had three types of cancer? Yes. Eddie and Danielle are still fighting cancer. Both of them know lives lost to the unforgiving disease, including Eddie's sister. It was a heart-wrenching story. They, they all had cancer and cancer with their family. In 1990, the United States government tried to right its past wrongs. Legislators passed the Radiation Exposure Compensation Act, or RECA. It gave cancer victims of the Cold War nuclear testing in Nevada a one-time $50,000 payment and recognition as a downwinder. The federal government doesn't recognize people in the southern half of Mojave County as downwinders, even though people in surrounding counties are. Historically, when you go back to the 50s, when the uh, experimentation was, was happening and the explosions were happening, the predominant 
population in Mojave County was here in the Kingman area. But the amendment left out both Kinman and the area that neighbors Clark County, Nevada, home of Las Vegas, which is where the testing happened. Think it's about money? I believe so. I really do. Uh, why exclude the two population centers that were affected? Makes no sense. A state report from 1999 to 2001 raises eyebrows, with Mojave County having one of the highest cancer rates in the state. I was surprised at not necessarily the types of cancers because um, we also have high smoking rates in our county, and some of those cancers could be tied to that as well. But looking at how nuclear testing overall could affect uh, the cancer rates, I would see that there would be issues. How are you so sure that this nuclear blast is related to these cases of cancer? I don't think anybody can be 100% sure, but the statistics show that the cancer rate in Mojave County uh, is much higher than the surrounding counties. In this small town, history is only a memory away. The reminders are at every turn. Looking back, from today and looking at all of the friends that I have lost, by far the major portion of them died of some type of cancer. Well, no one knows exactly why the southern part of Mojave County was excluded in the 2000 legislation. Next year, the Radiation Exposure Compensation Act, or RECA, expires. Now, Arizona Representative Greg Staten has introduced new legislation to compensate and recognize the forgotten.